Welcome everyone to the Garrett Lakes Arts Festival Holiday Concert with West Virginia Brass Quintet. I'm Mary Callis, the Executive Director for the Garrett Lakes Arts Festival, and we welcome you to our virtual concert here on the campus of Garrett College. Before we get started, we want to thank our donors and our grant funders. First Energy Foundation, Trust Foundation, the Maryland Humanities, the Maryland State Arts Council, Garrett County Government and Garrett County Economic Development, Garrett County Arts Council, WISP Resort, Garrett College, First United Bank and Trust, and especially Total Biz Fulfillment. It is these funders and, and grant funders that have kept us going through this very trying time. But we are so grateful and so thankful to be here and have this special holiday concert from West Virginia Brass. Brass Quintet, and we're delighted to be here, and we are delighted to have you out there in TV land or internet land or wherever you are, but we hope you are enjoying our Christmas selections today, and we're going to be playing a whole bunch of stuff. That was O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, arranged, actually, by our lead trumpet here, Dave Porter. Very nice arrangement. And we're going to go on with a, a little tune called A Christmas Festival. Your challenge is to see if you can name all of the Christmas tunes in this festival. Here we go.
Leroy Anderson. And uh, here we have a carol fantasy that, again, will test your Christmas song naming ability. Uh, <laughs> lots of fantasy, uh, lots of carols, and here we go with a nice arrangement. A carol fantasy. All right, thank you so much. We are having a great time. We are hoping that we are getting you in the Christmas spirit. We are in the Christmas spirit and having a great time. Uh, the great thing about Christmas music is that there's so much of it. Not only that, that you can do so many things with it, and there's so many amazing arrangements. The next one we're going to do is a jazz arrangement of God Rest You Merry Gentlemen in a completely different style than what you may be used to hearing. So we're going to swing it and have some fun, and we hope you do too.
so much fun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to do another, uh, not really jazzy, but a whole different genre. This is uh, kind of a, a jazzy arrangement of Jingle Bell Rock. And we do a lot of arrangements by Gary Schlechter. This is uh, When All Else Fails. We, we we go to Gary Schlechter. <laughs> we have a lot of. Uh, I'm not I'm not I'm not getting uh, any money for this, but uh, there's a great. If you're looking for great brass arrangements, uh, Schlechter Press, and uh, I'm tell you what, we we uh, we go there a lot. Jingle Bell Rock. It's a lot of fun. We hope you have fun too. All right. So, uh, as long as I, uh, uh, I'm not, I am, I'm not plugging things, but I am plugging things. I would uh, just like to point out that the West Virginia Brass Quintet. You could go to wvbrassquintet.com and check out our upcoming schedule, all that sort of thing, if you want to see our performance schedule. And we are. Uh, this is our, our busiest time. We're so glad to be back. I mean, we were, of course, like a lot of live performances. Uh, most of our live performances were canceled when the pandemic, and we're happy that even though this isn't exactly a live performance, it's a, <laughs> it's a step in the right direction, and we're really excited. We do have uh, some live audience members, and uh, we're, we're just uh, delighted to be playing again. So um, this arrangement that we're about to do was also done by Dave Porter, our lead trumpet here, and a beautiful arrangement of Low How Rose.
And now for something completely different. We <laughs> we've been all over. We've done some some swing. We've done some rock. Uh, how about a mambo? How about some Christmas mambo? Instead of up on the housetop, we got a tune called Mambo on the Housetop. <laughs> what else can you even say about that? Nice. Hi, Tim. Tim. <laughs> we all know Tim. <laughs> too kind, too kind. Thank you, Tim. Uh, you got to love it that there's a live audience out there somewhere, and we're, uh, we're delighted. We're, we're so excited to be playing for everyone. Yeah, okay. So uh, we're going to do another one arranged by Dave. Um, this one is, uh, <laughs> I, we are all over the place today. We just did a mambo. How about an Irish jig? Uh, <laughs> that would be that would be different. But um, this, believe it or not, it's a it's a French tune. Uh, Bring a torch, Jeanette Isabella, uh, or whatever the French is. I can't remember. But um, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and this is a uh, arranged in the style of an Irish jig. So um, a brilliant arrangement again by Dave Porter. And again, we're delighted to be here performing for you today. So hope you enjoy. For what it's worth, it also includes a little jig by. Henry Purcell. Thank you. 
we are going to take a short break. But don't go anywhere. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you all for attending with us today. Um, if you don't know, my name is Andrew Harvey. I'm the chairman of the GLAF Board of Directors. And on behalf of the Board of Directors, um, hello, happy holidays, and um, what a way to kick off the holiday season for sure. And if you're like me, nothing says the holidays like a brass concert. Um, one thing that we kind of did at the annual meeting the other night for the Garrett Lakes Arts Festival is we um, kicked off our 2022 season. Uh, that is live now out there for you. Um, you'll be seeing a postcard arriving to your mailbox any day. So be looking for that. If you want a sneak peek of what that season is, definitely go to the website and check that out. Um, but like we have done today, it is a journey in and of itself, the season for 2022. So. Um, we've kind of set a theme of a journey. Uh, the music that you chose today definitely did that. So thanks for journeying with us. Um, <laughs> um, and one of the things for 2022 is the impact that you can have. Um, like I said, the season was unveiled uh, Tuesday night at the annual meeting. Um, it'll be coming to your mailboxes soon. And really, what is the footprint? What is the impact that you can have? We hear all the time in the news about your carbon footprint and the impact of this on that. Um, but what can your impact be? Um, like, a fo uh, like a potter might leave a fingerprint in clay, would you want to leave a fingerprint on the next generation? And speaking from personal experience, I know that um, people's lives have impacted my life. So we ask that maybe you would take a step with your financial contributions, with your involvement in the community, and would you consider a gift to impact the next generation? To tell you how to do that, I'm gonna turn it over to Mary. So there are many ways that you can do that. You can go to our website, arts, A-R-T-S, and entertainment.org. There's a donate button, and you can do your donation online. You can send it here to the Garrett Lakes Arts Festival at Garrett College, 687 Mosser Road. You can always call me, 301-387. 3082. And I want to just talk a little bit for a minute about the impact of the arts. One of our viewers here today is, is Tim DeWitt. And Tim used to play his trumpet when I was a kid at St. Mark's Method or St. Paul's Methodist Church. And it really made the holidays come alive for me. So I want to say thank you, Tim, for the impact that your music had on my life. So I'm going full circle and bringing the West Virginia Brass Quintet, but it was that love of brass music that you started in me as a child at St. Paul's Methodist Church. So I uh, encourage all of you to continue that same spirit of passing it forward, whether financially or like Andrew said, with your involvement in our community. Thank you so much. Happy holidays. All right. We are back. Hey, I'm going to take a quick second to introduce the group. Uh, we are from all over the place. We're the West Virginia Brass Quintet, but we have here on trumpet, we have Dave Porter <laughs> from uh, Charleston, West Virginia. We have Matt Baramas from Johnstown, West Virginia. No, Pennsylvania. <laughs> well, it's, it borders West Virginia. Yeah. Uh, over on horn, we got Andy Scott, who is from Buchanan, West Virginia. And we got Logan Lindsay on tuba from Clarksburg, West Virginia, right? And uh, I am Brian Plitnick playing trombone today from Cumberland, West Virginia, uh, Maryland. Well, it's right across the river. Come on. I mean, it's, it's and, and I work in West Virginia. I work at uh, Potomac State College uh, of WVU. So we're so happy to, uh, to be here performing for you. We're going to play some more Christmas music. How's that sound? Here's what it is. It is beginning to look a lot like Christmas.
All right. Thank you so much. We are here having a blast and just enjoying being able to perform for you out there, wherever you are. And what would the Christmas season be without Mel Torme and the Christmas song, Chestnuts Roasting on an Open Fire? These are all Christmas songs, but the Christmas song. Hope you enjoy. 